Hi, my name is Jordan Fingerhut, and I will be presenting my 5-Minute Science Fair project, Species Differences in Leaf Decomposition and Microbial Communities. Microbes are the general term used to describe all microscopic organisms. They are highly diverse and abundant. They include archaea, bacteria, fungi, viruses, and protozoa, and they're present in a variety of ecosystems. They live in the depths of the ocean and the sand in the desert. This project, in particular, focused on microbial communities in the soil. Microbes are also resilient and adaptable, meaning that they can live in extreme environments, so environments with highly acidic or basic pHs, with extreme temperatures, and even ecosystems with extreme pressure. The reason why microbes are so important is because they are a direct indicator of the sustainability of an ecosystem. In ecology, sustainability is how biological systems remain diverse and productive. In order for ecosystems to remain productive, they must undergo a variety of biological processes, these include nitrogen cycling, decomposition, and of course, nutrient storage. Nitrogen cycling is one of these processes, and it's a series of processes by which nitrogen and its compounds are interconverted in the environment and in living organisms. This includes nitrogen fixation and decomposition. And decomposition also allows for nutrients to be recycled and the ecosystem to remain fresh because not, there's not an excess buildup of waste. The overall concept is that microbes aid in these essential processes so by preserving them, we're preserving the biodiversity of all of our ecosystems. It is even more important to understand microbes because we are experiencing significant changes to our climate. As evident in this map from the U.S. Global Climate Change Research Program, the distribution of species of trees is changing drastically. As evident in the projected image of 2070 to 2100, the composition and diversity of the trees present, especially in the northeast region of the United States, is shifting to a dominance of oak pine and oak hickory, which will result in changes in the microbial communities present also. The idea to study microbial communities is not a new one, and microbial communities have already been studied in many ecosystems, including hydrothermal vents, and they've been studied using alternative approaches. In hydrothermal vents, which are in the deep sea, there's a lack of oxygen and light, so it's impossible to culture all the microbes present. So scientists have used alternative approaches to try to gain a better understanding of these communities. Because of chemosynthesis, which is the way that the organisms in the deep sea obtain nutrients, microbes are crucial. So scientists have resulted to using 454 tagging to describe the communities present. And so this project that I'm doing focuses on the importance of studying microbes in forests because just like the hydrothermal vents, it's also difficult to obtain an understanding of what the microbes are in the forest ecosystems. The experiment completed looked at the relationship between different species of leaves and the impact on pH and mass loss as well as microbial communities within the soil. The way the experiment worked was that the leaves from the three different species were collected and set up in microcosms to replicate forest-like conditions. Then, each month, the pH of the soil was taken and substances of the microcosms were harvested to observe mass loss. Additionally, portions of the samples were set aside to observe changes in the microbial communities. The leaves were also stored at a constant temperature as well as watered weekly to keep the moisture constant. Then, in terms of microbial analysis, the DNA was extracted from each sample. It was confirmed that there was a presence of bacteria and fungi at the initial slurry. However, it was unclear exactly what species were present. So this type of testing using more specific species could be accomplished in the future and could be future goals for this project. While the microbial analysis didn't necessarily provide the clearest results, the mass loss and the pH data did. And so in this graph, you can see the mass loss across species. And so while there was an overall trend of decaying with the leaves as time went on, it wasn't significant based on species as evident by the p-value of 0.1937, showing it was not significant. On the other hand, species was significant in terms of pH change, as evident by the p-value of 0.017, so the species were significant in the changes in pH that were observed. And so overall, in this experiment, the results indicate that species change does impact environmental conditions. However, it's necessary to continue to pursue this microbial research to completely and fully understand the effects that changes in the ecosystem are going to have on microbes and changes in the microbes are going to have on the ecosystem. Thank you very much.